Have you ever wondered how faith can equip us to conquer our deepest fears? This question, though simple, carries profound implications. Fear is a universal experience, a thread that weaves itself into the fabric of our human existence. It can be as trivial as the fear of missing out, or as monumental as the fear of failure, the fear of the unknown, the fear of death. But fear, in all its forms, has one thing in common. It holds us back. Now imagine a tool that could help us confront and ultimately overcome these fears. This tool is not something you can hold in your hand, but something you carry within your heart. It's called faith. Faith, as understood through the lens of the Bible, is not merely believing in the unseen, it's a deep-seated trust, a steadfast assurance in God's promises. It's the conviction that no matter how stormy the seas of life become, there is a divine hand at the helm. Scripture is abundant with references to both fear and faith. For instance, the book of Isaiah tells us, So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. This verse doesn't deny the reality of fear, rather it provides us with a countermeasure, faith in God's enduring presence and unwavering support. Similarly, the book of Hebrews defines faith as the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. This scripture reminds us that faith isn't just about what we can see or touch or prove, it's about hope, trust, and the courage to believe in something greater, something beyond our understanding. Fear may be universal, but so is the power of faith. Let's delve into scripture and see what wisdom can be found. As we journey together through the following scenes, let us explore the transformative power of faith over fear, as illuminated by the teachings of the Bible. Let us discover how faith can equip us to overcome our deepest fears and embrace a life of courage and conviction. Consider the story of David and Goliath, a tale that illustrates the power of faith over fear. The narrative, found in the first book of Samuel in the Old Testament, introduces us to David, a shepherd boy, and Goliath, a towering Philistine warrior. Goliath, standing over nine feet tall, was a formidable adversary, striking fear into the hearts of the Israelite soldiers. He challenged them to a duel, but nobody dared to face him. The odds were heavily stacked against the Israelites, and the shadow of fear loomed large. Enter David, a young shepherd, armed not with traditional weapons but with a sling and five smooth stones. But his greatest weapon was something unseen, intangible, his unwavering faith in God. David volunteered to face Goliath, not out of arrogance or recklessness, but because he believed in the power of God. His faith was so profound that he declared, the Lord who delivered me from the paw of the lion and from the paw of the bear will deliver me from the hand of this Philistine. David's faith was so robust, it eclipsed his fear. He stepped onto the battlefield, his heart brimming with faith and confronted Goliath. Using his humble sling and a single stone, David struck Goliath, felling the giant. The shepherd boy, who was not a warrior by any means, had defeated the fearsome warrior, not by his strength, but by his faith in God. David's story is a testament to the power of faith over fear. When we are faced with our own Goliaths, situations that appear insurmountable, remember David, his faith in God was his shield, his strength. It was his faith that gave him the courage to face his fear, to step onto the battlefield and confront the giant. David's faith was his shield against fear, empowering him to face an impossible situation. Just as David overcame Goliath, we too can conquer our fears through faith. So, when you are staring into the eyes of your Goliath, remember, faith can turn the impossible into possible. Jesus himself spoke frequently about faith and fear. What lessons can we learn from his teachings? Now, let's delve into the heart of his message. Jesus was always clear that faith is the antidote to fear. One of his most poignant teachings on this topic can be found in the book of Matthew, chapter 28, verse 20. Jesus says, And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. This is an assurance that we are never alone, even in our most fearful moments. His presence is our comfort, his strength is our shield. In the book of Mark, chapter 5, verse 36, Jesus tells Jairus, whose daughter was critically ill, do not be afraid, just believe. In the face of fear, Jesus offers a simple yet powerful prescription, belief. He asks us to trust in his ability to heal, to save, and to deliver. In another instance, the Gospel of Luke, chapter 8, verses 24 to 25, Jesus is with his disciples in a boat when a storm hits. His disciples are terrified, but Jesus, calm and serene, rebukes the storm and then turns to his disciples asking, 
where is your faith? This teaches us that faith isn't just about believing in good times, but holding on to that belief even when the storms of life are raging. These teachings of Jesus serve as a reminder that fear is a natural human emotion, but it's faith that gives us the courage to face and overcome our fears. Faith isn't a denial of fear, but a decision to trust God in spite of it. It's choosing to focus on God's power rather than our problems. So when fear tries to creep in, remember Jesus's words. Remember his promise to be with us always, his admonition to believe in the face of fear, and his question that prompts us to hold on to our faith even in the storm. Jesus's teachings offer a roadmap for navigating fear through faith. Let his words guide you, strengthening your faith and diminishing your fears as you journey through life. The Apostle Paul also wrote extensively on faith's role in overcoming fear. Let's explore his insights. When we delve into Paul's letters, we see his profound understanding of faith and fear. For instance, in his second letter to Timothy, chapter 1, verse 7, Paul wrote, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. This passage is a powerful testament to Paul's conviction that fear doesn't stem from God, but rather from our own internal struggles. It's faith, he argues, that provides us with strength, love, and clarity of thought. In his letter to the Romans, chapter 8, verses 14 to 15, Paul draws a distinct line between living in fear and living in faith. Here he says, For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. With these words, Paul reminds us that through faith we are not slaves to our fears. Instead, we are adopted into God's family, a relationship that grants us the courage to call out to him in times of distress. His wisdom on faith and fear doesn't stop there. In his letter to the Philippians chapter 4 verses 6 to 7, Paul instructs, Be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. This passage is a clear call to action for us to replace our fears and anxieties with faith, prayer, and gratitude. In essence, Paul's writings underscore that fear is a human condition, but faith is the divine solution. His letters encourage us to turn to God in moments of fear, to trust in his love, and to let faith guide us through life's turbulent times. Paul's writings reveal a deep understanding of the transformative power of faith over fear. How can we apply these biblical teachings to our everyday lives? Well, there are several ways to put faith into action, to use it as a tool against fear, Firstly, we must maintain a constant relationship with God. This means daily prayer, meditation, and reading the Bible. When we constantly communicate with our Creator, we grow in faith, and fear starts to lose its grip. Just as Jesus often retreated to spend time in prayer, we too should seek solace in quiet moments with God. Secondly, we must remember the stories of faith we've discussed. Recall David, who faced the giant Goliath not with fear, but with unwavering faith. When we find ourselves facing our own Goliaths, let's remember David's courage and let faith guide our actions. Thirdly, it's important to surround ourselves with a community of believers. Just as Paul wrote letters to encourage and strengthen the early churches, we too can find strength in shared faith. Join a church group, participate in a Bible study, or simply share your faith journey with a friend. This fellowship can reinforce your faith and provide a support system for those times when fear might creep in. Fourthly, practice gratitude. Recognize and appreciate God's blessings in your life no matter how small. This shift in perspective can help you focus on faith rather than fear. Lastly, serve others. In the Bible, Jesus often showed his faith through acts of service. By serving others, we not only demonstrate our faith, but we also take the focus off our own fears and anxieties. These are just a few practical ways to apply faith over fear in our everyday lives. Remember, faith is not a one-time event but a journey. It's a process of growing closer to God, of learning to trust Him more and more. By practicing faith in our daily lives, we can begin to conquer our fears. And remember, with God on our side, there's no room for fear. Overcoming fear through faith is a journey, not a destination. It's a journey that we've embarked on together in this video. And it's one that continues every day of our lives. We've delved into the power of faith over fear, exploring how it can transform our lives and our perspectives. We've seen this power in action in the story of David and Goliath, a tangible demonstration of faith's ability to conquer even the most formidable fears. 
We've also examined the words of Jesus on faith and fear, his messages serving as a guiding light for us in times of uncertainty. We've looked at how his teachings encourage us to trust in God's plan, even when we can't see the path ahead. And we've delved into the Apostle Paul's letters, his words echoing Jesus' teachings on faith and fear. Paul's writings remind us that faith isn't just a passive belief, but an active trust in God's promises, a trust that can help us overcome any fear we face. We've also discussed the practical application of faith over fear in our daily lives. It's one thing to understand these concepts theoretically, but it's another thing entirely to live them out day by day. But this is just the beginning. There's so much more to explore in the Bible's teachings on faith and fear. I encourage you to continue this journey to delve deeper into the scriptures and discover for yourself the transformative power of faith. Remember, faith isn't a one-time decision, but a daily choice. It's a choice to trust, even when the way is unclear. It's a choice to hope, even when circumstances seem hopeless. And it's a choice to believe, even when doubt tries to creep in. If you found this video informative and inspiring, please give us a thumbs up and share it to spread the word of our Savior Jesus Christ. Join our family by subscribing to our channel. Thank you for watching.